Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engine and today we're going to be checking out a feature that I actually forgot to check out and I didn't even know existed. We have spaceships in Space Engine that you can actually spawn different spaceships like I knew I was aware of the uh, the spacecraft mode like if you hit I think two uh, and then you, you kind of operate more on like an acceleration and you can't really stop you know it's more it's more so the game the game's movements will operate in According to Newton's laws of motion, you know, like inertia and all that, but I want to actually try flying some of these things if that's even possible. I don't know. Maybe I just have to take control of ship. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been playing this game only exploring the planets and I can actually control this. Sh can I, f can I fire guns? Like what is, oh, I think this is just showing my trajectory. Oh, God damn it. I was if these things have guns, if I figure out, is that a gun? There's a gun on this thing. If I can shoot planets, if I can destroy planets, that'll be amazing. I actually like, we, I think we, uh, we spawned in a star cluster. It's actually like messing up with all the, the motion blur. Sorry for being so flashy. My thrust, can I go even faster? Okay, so we got to figure this out here. So I think I'm on some kind of uh, collision course. So this is a... Uh, this is just showing like the gravitational trajectory, whatever you want to call it. I'm in an unstable orbit, so I need to I need to get into an orbit. How fast am I going? I'm going at five kilometers a second. Jesus, can I do I, I can do a warp drive. Oh my god, we got warp drives. <laughs> okay, and then I can dock. Oh my god. There we go. I turned off the motion blur. That way things aren't uh nearly as bad to look at. So I can get myself into a nice spin with Q and E. So I'm just going spinny, 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 and making everyone dizzy. Okay, slow it down. Oh, Jesus Christ. What if I could pull some sort of like interstellar scene? Like if, if anyone's seen interstellar, you know, like the docking scene I'm talking about. Sorry if I'm spoiling the movie for you. It's, it came out a couple of years ago. I want to try and land on this planet. I don't know how fast I have to be going. I'm going at 21, 22 kilometers per second. I'm guessing I have unlimited fuel, so I'm just going to keep accelerating. Here goes nothing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, am I actually going up and down now? Look at that. Okay, this is much better. We're going to try and do an air break. 30, 30 meters per second. Oh, boy. We're slowing down. We're going to crash. We're still 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 going to crash. No! Still, still says 5,000 kilometers. Did we hit the... Did we hit the ground? Oh, are we in the water? Yeah, I'm not in the water yet. This thing is just sitting here. <laughs> Let's see what other vehicles we have here. So nearest body, we got these starships. I don't know how to... I'd like to build a ship. A close space corp ship. Oh, we got tons of different... Oh, an X-Wing. <laughs> you can fly an X-Wing from Star Wars? If that's the X-wing that the right the same X-wing that I'm thinking of here. No, that is not the same X-wing that I'm thinking of. I guess there's something else called an X-wing. What is this thing? It's like a, it's like a little probe in space. Hyper jump. Okay, we're gonna try hyper jumping somewhere. Where are we hyper jumping to? Where are you rotating? Warp? Am I warping right here? Here we go. What's about to happen? Now we're gonna hyper jump here. Oh. Oh, it's so awesome. It's doing that. It's doing like that dark energy, like bending space time or, you know, it's like it's how, how does it work? Like the way like a warp drive could actually like kind of be theoretically possible. And it, it, I think it, what it has to do is I, I think it a warp drive, like the theoretical concept of a warp drive involves using dark energy to uh, how do I explain this? It, it takes space time, the space time around you. The space time in front of you will be condensed, but the space time behind you will be expanded. And it thus pushes you through space or a long space. Like it allows you to travel technically a greater distance, but you're not really traveling a greater distance because you've condensed space time. So you're not breaking uh, the, the laws of the speed of light. It, it, I think it's something like that, but it's like, it's such, it's one of those concepts just like, I'll take your word for it. Anyways, I just jumped to a star. That is so cool. Can I just freely do that? I would love to freely just go around space uh, traveling that way. Okay. I think I finally figured out how to actually control the ship now. So I'm going to make aliens attack earth. So let's fly to earth. I want to see if I can try and get the alien ship 
to just skirt past Earth's atmosphere. I don't think you can actually land on the planets, at least like I was doing some searching around on uh, the internet to see about this update, and it seems like it's more just about flying the ships. And if uh, you just happen to crash into the planet, it'll just kind of like rest on, on the planet, which is kind of what happened when I was trying to land this thing the first time. But I want to try and just fly through the atmosphere, then like fly out or something and get like, like, a, like a close approach. But I need to be going much, much faster before the Earth even like gets remotely close to me. What the? Whoa, what's going on? Am I boosting? What am I doing? Oh, what did I just do? I like, I just did a boost or something on my ship. What just happened? I'm so confused. Can I slow down? Can I, can I kill the, the spin that I'm in? All right, stop the spin. Stop the spin. There we go. Sometimes I hate the laws of physics. Oh no, I'm like doing some kind of warp again. No, don't do the warp. Don't do the warp. Don't do the warp. I'm like, I'm in some kind of strange bubble and all. Okay. Did I just speed past Earth? Maybe I should, uh... Can I zoom out? Maybe? <laughs> I'm so confused. How fast am I going? I'm only going 40 kilometers per second. Am I exiting the warp? Oh, Jesus. I think I might be exiting it now. Okay, I've made it. Where the hell am I? Oh, no, not again! No, 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 come on! It's like triggering randomly. I'm just randomly going into warp. <laughs> Why? 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 I pressed the button. I don't know what button I pressed. The warp. Let's try and turn this around. Is Earth way over there? Oh, geez. I warped way past Earth. Okay. I'm on my way back, I hope. So I managed to zoom out uh, my spaceship, and we're back at the starting... The planet we started with, by the way, uh, because my game ended up crashing. But I managed to uh, change my field of view a bit so I can actually see what's around me so this warping doesn't end up just... Uh, engulfing the entire screen so I can just keep increasing my boost exponent here and I can keep traveling and now I can try and see if I can oh Jesus I think I just skirted right past that planet <laughs> wow Jesus okay I wonder if I can go so fast let's see oh my god I can go so fast that I see all these stars around me although now like I'm starting to change my direction I, 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 I mean, I don't know how a theoretical warp drive works, but I'm assuming it works similar to just the basic laws of physics when you look at it in terms of a closed system. So we were going so fast throughout space and now I'm suddenly just changing my direction. I'm kind of turning my ship into the opposite direction and not now I'm not into warp. So I'm going to have to try and travel for a little bit to try and pick up the speed in the opposite direction. And once I get to the appropriate speed, I will start uh, getting that, that warping effect effect again there we go we got the warping effect again here we go yeah for some reason it only works in like one direction uh when, when you when you're doing a, a warp you just got a point where where you want to go don't be spinning anywhere else and then just go man i am not going to shift from this direction and i'm going to point this in one direction and i'm going to see how far this warp can take us i'm pretty sure we're still constantly accelerating and now we i i guess Maybe we've accelerated past the speed of light? No, because it says we're going 47 kilometers per second. I don't know how warp drives work. All I know is they bend space. And it looks cool and it allows us to travel faster than the speed of light. Because it's not really that we're moving through space. It's that we're moving space around us. Whatever that means. We're taking space and we're pushing it somewhere else. It's almost like, uh, maybe what's a good analogy for this? It's like a, maybe a conveyor belt of space, or maybe we're ripping, we're pulling the rug, and we're kind of getting pulled along for the ride, and we're not actually moving at all. It's space that's moving. Um, yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I just want this, ep this episode of Space Engine feels so much more different. It's like it's less about the exploration aspect and more about like the like a technical aspect of things. Uh, the uh, focus on the spaceship. So like I'm sorry if you clicked on this video and you expected like oh we're gonna be looking at more planets again. Uh, no, we're uh, we looked at a couple planets, but it's mostly to mess around with warp drives <laughs> because warp drives are freaking. Awesome. If only I knew I had the, that had the, like the really formal technical 
physical uh, know-how. If I was formally educated in physics, uh, I would I would consider like studying really weird and bizarre theoretical concepts like this. Oh my god, I see like are we like outside the Milky Way or or what? Are we leaving the Milky Way? Well, I know we're we're leaving a star cluster right now. We're actually going so fast that we're leaving a star cluster. And then it's just nothing but darkness. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay trying to find a galaxy. We're totally leaving the Milky Way. Goodbye, my galaxy. I may never see you again, but I am off to bigger and better things, such as the darkness of space. And I don't even see the Andromeda galaxy or anything around me. God, that's gotta be scary. You go outside and you're like, oh, where do we go? Maybe maybe once I get to like a good distance away from the galaxy, I'll start seeing things. Oh, they're all coming into view now. Also, I didn't realize I can take this away. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a galaxy? We just totally passed by a galaxy. Are we going fast enough that we can fly by galaxies now? <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah, I, I, I didn't realize I can take off the... Whatever the I don't I don't I don't know what those uh, those green indicators are, but they were kind of all over my screen. I wasn't really using them, so might as well not have them there. That way, it could be a much more clearer picture. Well, let's just see how I want to I wanted to get to a speed uh, where I can see all everything flying past me, all the different galaxies, and I can even reach the edge of the universe uh, with my ship. Okay, I've been I've been doing this for like 20 minutes, and I have barely just gotten the other galaxies to start moving and it doesn't really seem like uh anything is really changing like i think i i don't know maybe the maybe in this game there's like a maximum speed you can really go uh when when, when you're when you're warping and <laughs> i think i am ready to just try and take this thing around a black hole uh so i'm, go I'm gonna go to sagittarius a and i'm gonna try and fly this thing right into a black hole I barely have moved. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I go and I, I, I've been sitting here traveling for like 20 minutes, probably going. I'm going so many times faster than the speed of light, and that was so like. Boom. Right back to Sagittarius A. <laughs> I want to get, get somewhat close to this thing. Uh, and we're going to spawn that same alien ship, and we're going to try and fly that at least around the black hole, or see what happens if we start flying super close into the black hole. Uh, I'm gonna try not to fly too fast. It's either I'm going way too slow when I'm warping, or I'm going way too fast and I'll end up just flying right past the black hole. I want to go just fast enough where I can see myself going right past this thing. Okay, well, there it goes. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! So we're, uh, accelerating towards this black hole relatively rapidly. Uh, but I want to go faster. I want to go fast towards this thing. It may not look like it. We may look extremely close to the black hole, but we're actually extremely far from the black hole. And there's no way within probably my lifetime uh, traveling at this speed, I would ever be able to make it. So we got to turn on the warping. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> look at this. Awesome. It's like I'm going into like the fires of hell right now. I love the shine in this. Jesus, it's just whatever that whatever for some reason when I'm putting like the warp my, my ship's warping effect on the black hole Itself it just turns into like this Like devilish red glow. It's like it knows it knows what I am doing is terrible This is an evil thing to be doing warping into a black hole We're, we're like fighting gravitational lensing against gravitational lensing to create super lensing. Oh, this is ridiculous It's so damn bright Go a little faster. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Now I'm really at the black hole right here. <laughs> oh my god. It's. Oh god. You can barely even see anything. So I got absolutely no warping on right now, and I am well within like the, I guess the extreme gravity well for the lack of better term. So let's try and like really pivot this thing towards the darkness. I want to go into this faster and faster. And faster and faster. Oh no, we're on a collision course with the black hole. Okay, stop. Is it getting any faster now? Nope, still heading towards it. Gotta go faster. Increase boost. See, I wanna see what it's like if I can actually fly around in this thing. That'll be kind of weird if I can fly around this thing. Okay. My, my, my boost exponent is only at like one right now. Enter the black hole. <laughs> oh no. 
putting it down to one. Okay, so I am basically in the black hole. Right now. I am at the... I, I'm at the event horizon or just... Like, just past the event horizon and with absolutely no warp boost right now. This is barely any warp boost. Keep going. How fast am I going, by the way? My ship velocity is at 25,000 <laughs> kilometers per second. I'm so amused by this. Look at, it's like the velocity just seems like it's increasing exponentially. I'm still flying through this damn thing too. Okay, just stop now. Okay, I have absolutely no boost exponent on now and I am just falling, falling, falling into the black hole. Look at it go. No hands. And my velocity. Is increasing just like that. It, the, the acceleration itself, I think, is accelerating. So, what would that be? It, that, it, the acceleration, the rate of change of acceleration is called jerk, I believe. Is it accelerating even faster? I'm trying to gauge whether that is, is accelerating faster. Okay, so yeah, ship velocity is now like at about <laughs> almost half the speed of light falling into this thing. And the, the pinhole is getting increasingly smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where now I don't see anything. I just see darkness and I'm accelerating. No light. Maybe now I have just passed the event horizon. Maybe that was it. I, I finally hit the black hole. <laughs> Let's just for fun. I can turn on my my thrusters. I do still exist inside here. Turn on the uh, the warping. Oh. Oh. And somehow I just escaped the black hole by just warping out of here. And that might just be because I was using warp technology. Uh, cause light can't escape a black hole. Uh, but if we're technically going faster than the speed of light in a way, I guess we can escape a black hole. And we just totally did that by going into extreme warp mode. And boom! We got pooped out. Maybe the other side of it? I don't know. I hope you guys have enjoyed the warp shenanigans and I will see you guys later. Oh my god! And this is a, this is not quite at the center of the star cluster. That is the center of the star cluster. It's overpowering the Milky Way. <laughs> that is so awesome. It looks like it's Photoshopped. It actually looks like it's poorly Photoshopped more than anything.